Hey you guys, today I'm going to show you how I achieve this look. So I'm going to take this gel ombre that I did off my client and we're going to go right into this new look. Okay, so I've already debulked her nails down using my mean green drill bit that I got from Atwood Industries. And I have already used my skiver bit to go in and, you know, you know, try to outline that nail and get some of that oil off around that cuticle and just push it back just slightly a little bit. Now I am clipping the cuticles and you know, just making sure my client's nails look nice and neat and I can see a nice gap between, you know, her nail that's growing and the acrylic. So in this video, I'm not going to do, um, I'm not gonna show the whole fill in. I am just gonna show the, uh, the cuticles being clipped and I'm going to get right into this nail art. I, um, I decided to keep the cuticle clipping part in because I find that, that a lot of people really do enjoy watching cuticles being clipped. I don't know what it is about it, but something about it is satisfying. So, you know, this is for those people that enjoy, you know, things like that. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to pop in and out of this particular part right here until it's time to get into that nail art. But if you know, if you are a person that enjoy watching cuticles being clipped, enjoy. All right, Nail Bay. so for this look, I'll be using Young Nails. Um, I forgot the name of that color, y'all, because I'm doing a voiceover. And the other color that I'm using is um, Boat Trip from Madam Glam. So I'm pretty much just going to put, you know, the nail polish, the gel polish all over the nail. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure when you're doing any type of look that you're getting those sides good when you're painting. You want to make sure you're getting the bottom and you want to make sure you're getting close to the cuticle line but not actually getting it on the cuticle it makes all the difference also make sure you put nail polish or gel polish on top of the ends whether you're doing nails or feet so yeah that's what i'm pretty much just sitting here just trying to cover every part of the nail to make sure there's nothing showing outside of that color that i'm using so i'm going to put that on every last one of the nails and then i'm going to repeat that step I love this color, like this color is just so pretty to me. I just love it.
So at first I forgot, but I'm using Young Nails Floaties. That's the color. It was one of their, um, you know, how they be having like their Young Nail Sales. I found, it was like a whole little container full of just gel, gel uh, paints that I didn't have. So pretty much what I'm doing is um, just kind of getting some, um, something was on the nail. But yeah, I'm going to go in with my liner brush that I got from Atwood Industries. And I'm going to just start making some swirls. This is a very easy nail art look that looks really, really, really cute. You know, definitely will catch your attention. Um, a lot of girls are wearing these type of looks. It's, it was, It is trending, honey, these swirls. So, you know, um, this is just a very easy way to do the look. You know, you can always pair it with any type of funky color. I would say use like a color that's darker and then give a color that's also in the same family. Like I use Bow Trip, which is kind of like greenish. It's in the green family like a green blue and I just wanted to use something that was also green but lighter just to kind of like you know throw it off a little bit but in a cute way so you could probably do the same thing with any other type of color like an orange and like a dark orange with a light orange or like a light yellowish orange that would look really cute or like a dark pink with like a light coral looking pink like that would look so cute too so I'm pretty much just doing like thin lines thick lines and just kind of like making it look the way i want it to look you can make the swirls thin you can make them thick you can do a little bit of both you know like make the swirl start off thick and you know go into something that's smaller um lines are something any type of line work or any type of swirl type of look you can it, it always looks very detailed even though it is not something that is very very hard to do but you know, it's levels to this. You can always detail a line, detail a swirl and make it look, you know, better and better and better. But overall, this is a very simple look. So, you know, um, hopefully this is a cute little nail look, a nail inspiration. And if you want to try it, you can. If you do, um, let me know, you know, if you want to send me some pictures, I would love to see, especially if you are a new nail tech and you are really trying to try nail art. Um, you know, I learned a lot off YouTube, so hopefully this is a video that can help you. There's really no right and wrong way to do a look like this. You just kind of have to have an inspiration for it and just go at it. It's so many ways I can make a swirl, you know what I'm saying? Um, I might make a video on a more detailed swirl look. Um, but for a look like this, as you can see, it is very, very, very simple. So you can even half this out and like only do it on half the nail. Like there's so many ways you can do this. Or you can do the swirls where they're all going upward. So, you know, it just really just depends on the type of flow you're trying to go with, you know, the shape of the client's nails, all of that will matter. But overall, this is the gist of it. All right, so one of my clips had just kind of, it was just not leveled right, and you couldn't really see me doing the other hand. So I just forwarded through it and um, stayed with this hand. It's pretty much the same thing on the other hand. So I'm just topping it off with some top coat from Jewelry. And um, finishing up her look, I'm going to add a little uh, matte top coat on some of them. Some of the nails I'm going to leave shiny. Some of them I'm going to leave matte because she likes both. And that is pretty much the look, honey. That's it. That's it. That's all.
when you're applying top coat, um, matte top coat, you always want to make sure you're getting around in them corners pretty good. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to, you know, have shiny spots. You know what I'm saying? You want to, you know, not cut them corners so quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you want to make sure that you don't have no shiny spots. You know what I mean? It's very, very important. You don't want to have to like have to take the whole thing off. You know, sometimes matte top coats when when doubled, they you know they don't dry very well. So, you know, it's better to just try not to, you know, cut them corners, you know what I mean? Try to hit them corners, you know, on every angle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, it's best to just do it the right, do it right the first time. You know, matte isn't always so forgiving like a shiny top coat. But that matte be hidden. I know y'all see it. Matte be hidden. It's my favorite. Like, I, I really, really love it so much more than shiny top coat. But, you know, shiny top shiny top coat is definitely what it is but matte yes ma'am it gets me every time it's just something about it but you know just another little tip for nail techs out there um nail art always looks best on matte because you know when you draw or when you paint anything you know a nice canvas or paper you know of course anything that looks dry always looks good so you know it's like a good shiny looks great but matte when it comes to top to um nail art honey chef's kiss it's the bomb okay so yeah this pretty much just completes this look i'm adding some oil you know what i'm saying to my client can't be having my my um my ladies out here looking ashy because y'all know nails and stuff it dries your nails out so you always want to make sure you got some good oil you know for those picks and that's pretty much it so i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'm going to hit y'all with some um some pics and some videos of the completed look at the end. Here's the final look. I absolutely love it. Like, that looks so pretty on her brown skin, you guys. Absolutely love it. And that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I'm back with this bonus clip because I wanted to show you all my um my new shirt that I got from Growing Gracefully. So I found, y'all know I am 35 years old. I have been growing my gray hair out for like a minute now. So this is me right now with my gray. And it's all like around my halo area and a little bit in the middle of my head. But I really, really love it, and um, I'm embracing it, and it is what it is. I'm sick of coloring my hair, so, you know, we're going to get these whites and these grays and all of that. So I found this girl on Instagram, um, and she is just amazing. I like the free gifts that came with it. Um, these came, these are so cute. Like, um, I could put this on with the shirt or whatever I want. She has a tea mug on her website I want, too. But, yeah, it came with these little clips and... I figure I could put this on a shirt or something when I, you know, don't have my regular shirt on that I got. And this is the shirt. It's so cute, y'all. It says, gray hair goals. I'm like, uh -huh. I can definitely be somebody's goals out here. <laughs> so this is it, y'all. I really, really love it. Um, I plan on wearing it with my hair real cute. I got to, you know, show off my gray, you know, when I wear this shirt. But when I put it on, y'all, I'm going to show y'all how I look in another bonus clip. I'm, I am going to wear my shirt, and I'm going to wear it soon. But y'all, make sure y'all go and follow her. She is really, really sweet. And, you know, if you ever decide that you want to do this, she's the girl, okay? But, yeah, that's it for this bonus clip, you guys. I hope you all really did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. I'm going to leave her information in the description box. So y'all please go and follow her. Um, in the meantime, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.